Hi everyone, welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mami Olufunke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, June 14th through Sunday, June 20th, 2021. Let's get started. The Universal Energy Reading for the Planet this week sees... Eight Kauri on the mat and Ling Lesu Obatala in the Veve Prophecy cards. So Earth Mother is still has her plan and her plan is survival. So whether or not we survive on this planet with Earth Mother is up to us because we are really making it difficult for Earth Mother and she's willing to present arguments. She's arguing with us. She's going to uh, attack us with serious debates on why are we doing what we're doing? What can we do differently? How can we both get along? Uh, my daughter told me that the pipeline has been halted because the company just bailed on it, bailed on the project. And I say, yes, thank you. Thank you for all the drumming. Thank you for all the prayers and incantations, all the dancing that my Native American family has presented to the world so that this thing can be shut down. I believe in the strength of the magic of our natural ways of facing our situations. Our, and it's good character to not just tear the earth up. It's good character not to put the lakes and rivers in danger of being polluted and making them, you know, inhabitable by marine life and unusable by humans. It, it doesn't make any sense to put the planet at risk. Right now, the planet is supporting us, barely. And we need to really rethink how it is that we function on this world. Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees seven Kari on the mat and Eshu Aizan in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we are people and we're facing each other and we're willing to make investments that we want to see a profit from. We want to invest in our ideas, our vision, our goals, our dreams. Please, people, do not criticize each other so much so that we can't face each other. If you hear from someone that they want to invest in something that you don't agree with, just tell them you don't agree, but don't pick them all apart. Oh, calling them names and chiding them and trying to shame them from doing that which they want to do. Unless, of course, they're asking you to borrow money Maybe you can just say, nope, can't borrow from me, not for that project. But if you don't have any control over the money and it's their money, then you might have to just tell them what you feel and stand back. Let people learn from their situations. And they might learn that they might get lucky. And in spite of your disagreement, they might actually come to know some profit from their investment. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees eight Kauri on the mat and Orumila Tambors in the Veve Prophecy cards. So here we are lovers and we're together and we are working on a plan. We have a plan. We work hard. We are reaching for an outcome and we have goals that we have set and we need to just continue to work and build and grow and see whatever gains we can see and whatever profit we can see. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees five cowrie on the mat and Orumila Oloku in the Bebe Prophecy cards. And money we can really profit from artwork. We can really profit from being beautiful and, and gathering together 
on the one hand, but then a lot of us will feel like this artwork, this great presentation we want to make can only be accomplished in solitude. So a lot of people will be reclusive and shut away from the group so that they can work on their projects. Again, if that's the investment that they want to make, please try not to shun them, argue with them, make them feel bad, and, you know, just detract from their creativity and their inspiration in this time, in this week. Ah, Shay. The Universal Energy Reading for Health and Well-Being sees eight Kauri on the mat and Obatala Ezilio Shun in the Veve Prophecy Cards. Here, health and well-being, we have a plan. We've been, we're following it. We're back on track this week. We are eating right. We're exercising. We're heeding our doctor's advice. And we are seeing that we feel better and we are more act, able to be active and get out, enjoy the sunshine or the raindrops, depending on the day. And we have to do this as long, so long as we can, we can try new things, so long as we know that they're safe. We have to keep ourselves safe. We have to know that what we're doing is the right thing. So if you, if you want to try something new with your health this week, maybe look into it and look into it again. And then to make sure that you know what you saw and what you read and how to ingest whatever medicines you want to ingest, read it again. Just research and take care this week. Because right now, the plan that we have and the plan that we're following is working. Ah, Shay. The Universal Energy Reading for Spiritual Development, C7 Kari on the mat, and Osayen Eshu in the Veve Prophecy card. So now in our spiritual development, what's happening is people are getting married. And there are going to be a lot of weddings, and there are going to be a lot of partnership ceremonies at these ceremonies please let us not argue let us not find fault with one another and do not show up to anyone's wedding if you're not invited do not surprise people with unusual gifts and unusual statements at their ceremony please Understand that it's going to be time. It's not going to be your day. It's going to be the bride's day and the groom's day. And they want to have beautiful memories of their wedding day. So don't be snide. Uh, if their wedding is not the vision you had in mind for them, keep it to yourself. We don't want anybody depressed on their wedding day. Also, it talks about people getting initiated. So there, as well as weddings, there'll be a lot of people getting initiated or making a marriage to the spirit realms. And so this, you know, again, everyone's vision is not your vision. If you happen to be getting initiated and things aren't going the way you thought they should go, try to be cool and calm in your expression of that so that you don't really ruffle and upset your initiation day. Ashe. This has been Mami Olofunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. If you like this information and find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Also, we have eight calories a lot of times. So please wash your head with the coconut. Cool yourself. Cool yourself. Keep yourself very cool with uh, the praising of Ori. And to all our fathers, happy Father's Day on Sunday. 
Enjoy your day. I pray the weather is beautiful so that all fathers can get out and enjoy a wonderful family day. Ashe. Have a great week, everyone. Odabo.